Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today we've got another, I can't believe I'm saying this, but we've got another Facebook Marketplace win. So today we've got the Aquarium Adventures Operations Manager is joining us again. We're in her bedroom. Um, you might notice this tank from previous videos. So this is Snowflake, Snowflake the Better Fish. Elizabeth has done such a good job of looking after Snowfish. We've decided to upgrade and we've got this monstrosity behind it. And she's bought herself, you might have seen it in previous videos, she's bought herself an Aranda. And we've now got the tank that we're going to keep it in. So let's have a look and see what we got. So this is the tank that we've picked up for Professor Bubblehead. So you've seen that, it's our Bubblehead Aranda. It's down in the fish room at the moment while we get everything set up. But this is a Fluval Roma 125. And honestly, I think it's the best deal I've ever got off Facebook. So we picked this tank up. Um, Elizabeth just informed me it's called a... Balloon Head Aranda. Balloon Head Aranda, not a Bubble Head Aranda. And the name is Professor Bubble. And the professor, she's teaching about balloons. Got that? Good, we'll move on. <laughs> so it's a Fluval Roma 125, as I said. It came with everything it needed. It's got not one, but two filters. It's got the internal U3 and U4 filter. It's also got the Fluval Aqua Sky 2 light on it as well. It came with a heater, came with a couple of pieces of wood. Um, yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the best deal. I know I got those tanks for a fiver for the fish room before, but that is pretty fantastic. Everything looks tip top, great condition, absolutely fantastic. So all picked up with minimum fuss, no drama, none of the normal Facebook marketplace nonsense that we get. Listed it, very fair price. I asked what the best price was, as I like to do, um, and got an even better price. So 80 quid I paid for the whole lot, the whole kit and caboodle. Two filters, good light, good tank, lid, everything complete. Couldn't be happier. Are you happy? Yeah, because the lights change colours. We all were very happy with the lights because they change colour. So the, the lights, if, you ha if you're not familiar with the Aqua Sky lights, they're obviously all controlled by an app and you get to set thunderstorms and you get to set colors and timers and all that kind of stuff. So we're very happy with that. So next job we've got is we've been down and we've raided the garage for all my extra rocks and bits of wood and ornaments that Elizabeth wanted to keep. She's picked out what she wanted. We've got some gravel to go in. So we're gonna do a kind of a dry fill, get everything into the position, not really aquascaping because we're not using live plants yet, but we're just gonna get all the ornaments into the position that we want. Boss lady here is going to lead the way. She's in control. She gets to decide what goes where. Uh, and then we'll get that filled up and we'll bring up Professor Bubble tomorrow. Yeah. See how we get on. So, worth a little look at the filters that came with this kit. And um, obviously, these were bought. Um, by the previous owner. So we've got a U3 and a U4, almost identical, just size of the difference. I think we're just going to use the U4 on this one. Um, it's not a filter I've actually used before, so I've no experience of it, but it's fairly common, pretty robust and well reviewed. Um, essentially, you've got uh, the output on the front, so you've got a top outlet, a bottom outlet, and a middle outlet. Um, they call this like a, an internal spray bar of some description, but basically you lift off the lid and there's a little knob here that controls whether it comes out the top, the bottom or in between. Uh, and then inside, this one came empty with no filter media, but it's got the dreaded cartridges. Um, so I've just replaced that with some coarse sponge. Both sides are identical. And then in the middle one, you've got your bio media. So I've just filled that with some spare bio media that I had from a running tank, and that means that the aquarium will be effectively immediately cycled and safe for the fish to go in there. I've tested it just like this running, and it's really good flow, so I mean, the U4 is rated quite well, and these filters themselves, I think these go for like 50, 60 quid new, um, maybe a little bit less for the U3, so proper good deal, happy with that. So in and running, I mean, it's fairly unobtrusive, the filter, I've put it behind those plants there. Very quiet, can't hear anything. And for the amount of flow it produces, really, really quite small. Um, that's not to say it is small, but for the amount of flow it produces, it's quite small and inobtrusive. So happy with that. I think we've got a fantastic deal. Um, you see Snowflake there. 
excited to see what his new room will be like. In terms of some of the other things in the tank, this design slash aquascape, it's very much my daughter's um, deal. <laughs> She's in charge when it comes to that. After all, this is her tank. While well, she is interested and into this, I don't want to sour it by saying, oh, don't get this, don't get that. I've tried my best to, because this is going to be a fancy goldfish, it's an Aranda with long fins going in there. I tried to steer her away from some of the harsher fake plants. Um, so all these plants here, they've all, they're not silk, but they're silk-ish uh, and quite soft, so they shouldn't rip fins or anything like that. I'm a little concerned about this little ornament we've got down at the bottom. Um, that does have a couple of sharper, more jaggy, but they're quite short, so hopefully that'll be okay. But yeah, like I say, I think it's important with kids, you let them take the lead and let them get used to it. She's already added some moss because um, she knows that plants are important. She wants to get into plants. I don't think she's just terribly confident with the whole um, aquascaping thing or patient enough to let plants grow in. So she wants the colour, she wants the brightness, she wants the ornaments. And that's fine. This is her tank, this is her fish. I want her to be excited by it rather than me tell her what to do with it. So I'm sure it'll evolve over time. Um, Humphrey's tank, Humphrey's tank, Snowflake's tank over here. She's changed a few things with that one as well and wants to change things in the future. So she's stuck really well with this tank and that's why we've let her get this bigger tank. She's she's done a great job looking after the fish. So now she's got a bigger tank, a little bit more responsibility. She's really into it. She's escaped all this herself. She's been in there with the little tools moving things around and coming back and checking and everything so when she gets home from school today we shall get Professor Bubble in there and we can have a look and see how she enjoys our new home. Right I think we're now ready to put the fish in so I've gone down and collected Professor Bubble from the fish room I've got him in this little bucket at the moment made sure that the temperature is the same as it is in there and then we're going to just blob them in basically um, unfortunately, I've forgotten the net, so we're just going to use my hands. If I wouldn't advise doing this. It's one of those mm. do as I say, not as I do things. If you are going to do it, make sure your hand's nice and wet when you do it. That way it doesn't really irritate the fish too much. Then we're just going to lift her out, wait for her to stop jiggling the boot, and blob her gently in. So she can go and have a proper explore and see how she's getting on. So you'll see there's a little bit of a haze almost. That's just a kind of biological bloom that'll clear in a couple of days. Um, it's very common with a new tank. Oh, we could feed her. Well, I wouldn't feed her on the first day. Usually I like to let the fish settle into their new tank and explore and then feed them on the next day. Your new fish is in. You happy? Yeah. So as well as the filter, um, being quite impressed with the filter, the light, really impressed with it. Again, it's my first experience of the Aqua Sky. Um, lots of options, really quite intuitive, easy to understand. So we've got it set on a, a schedule that will ramp up uh, and you can set each individual color and light um, intensity for each time during the day. And then the evening it'll ramp back down again. So none of this. Bah, sunshine and then shoo, darkness so mm. it'll be nice and gentle yeah because when you only turn this light off it's like it's just, just go bunk off interesting side note about the light when i first turned it on uh, it found the light straight away from the app on the phone the blue valve smart app so that was great straight away found it um, but the previous owner had named that tank mega tank so i was a bit like what? How does this know what I've called my big tanks? I was thinking about mega tank down in the fish room. But it just goes to show that everything's in perspective, I guess. If you're used to little tanks, that is a big tank. So, are you happy with Professor Bubble? Yes. What made you name her Professor Bubble? It has bubbles on the head. It's because it's like jelly, but it's like bubbles. So, what have you learned about Aranda's? They need a lot of space, so that's why the tank is so big. Their fins are very delicate. They need a very healthy diet. Mm. And do you think you might get some tank mates for Professor Bubble? Yes, I think we were thinking of um, some, I think it was zebra minnows or demos. 
zebra daniels? Yeah, zebra daniels. Or white clouds. Yes, so Daniels. white, or the gold type. Mm -hmm. I like the zebra ones. But both are fine. So that just goes to show you, you can get good deals on Facebook Marketplace. I think this was a fantastic deal. Worked out well for you though, didn't it? Yeah. Um, so as well as maybe not handballing the fish in, with second hand tanks I wouldn't recommend filling them up straight away. I could lie to you and say that I water tested this outside but I didn't. I just kind of eyeballed it and deemed it fine. But luckily no leaks so far. <laughs> um, but I think we've done really well. Yeah. Two filters, heater, light, tank, everything for 80 quid. Couldn't be happier. So if you want to find out how Professor Bubble... Hmm. Professor Bubble's doing. So if you want to find out how Professor's Bubble... <laughs> that how is hard to Professor say. Bubble is doing. If you want to find out how Professor Bubble is doing, click the subscribe button and you can follow along in the journey. You can see Snowflake, Professor Bubble and the operation manager of Aquarium Adventures. And you can look at my TikTok. Oh, and you can check out the TikTok down in the description. Mm -hmm. mm. Definitely. Right, thank you very much for joining me. See you in the next one. Bye! 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 Bye.